y en una orilla triana madre de la torería madre de la torería y ya se rompen los montes ya se rompen los montes si cantan y bailan si cantan y bailan So I just spent a couple of incredible days in Seville, Spain, and I made some images with my Instax wide. Spain is my favorite country and every time I visit, I don't want to leave. I wanted to come here especially for the flamenco dancing and the beautiful architecture, a blend of Moorish, Arabian and Gothic influences. But I made a huge mistake. I spent five days in the city and in my mind I said, okay, I'm gonna walk around for four days get to know the place, get to know the best spots to take photographs, so that way I wouldn't waste film, I wouldn't waste time. And then I left for the last day to take photographs. But the thing is, Sunday is an empty ghost town. Seville is just so quiet Sunday that was like, what's going on here? There was nothing on the streets, there's no one around. The commerce was totally shut down. There was a few restaurants, which kept a little bit of movement around and that's the areas I had to use to take photographs. But it was a little bit disappointing that I left so many good opportunities during the week and I left to shoot just on a very quiet day. Anyway, I had two packs of film that I had to shoot, that I wanted to shoot, and I had to make the most of it. So if you're curious about the city and you want to visit Seville, I have a few things to say about this amazing place. It's obviously very hot. But the best thing is you know the kind of light you're gonna get. So you can check your forecast and you're gonna see sunny, 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 sunny. And you know exactly what the light is doing at any specific time of the day. So the streets are very narrow, so there's a lot of shadow and highlight situations when you can create a lot of different compositions using the contrast. I really enjoy playing with the light here and the narrow streets are really beautiful. Of all the cities I shot in the streets, Seville has to be the safest I've ever felt, by far. I still kept my attention to my surrounding, but I have to say, this city feels super safe. Another great thing about the city is that people are very friendly here. Super chill, nobody cares if you're taking photographs. I felt at easy at all times. Something that's very known about Spain is the siesta. So here in Seville, Every day of the week between 2 and 5 p.m., most commerce close their doors. The good thing is that they keep the commerce and restaurants till quite late, which is very good to catch a lot of movement at later hours of the day and at the sunset. Another interesting thing is the local meal time. Not much to do with photography, but locals have the lunch around 2 p.m. at the earliest and the dinner around 9 to 10 p.m. I live in Ireland and 10 p.m. you will never find a restaurant open. I definitely prefer the Seville style. But one of my favorite things about Seville is the architecture, which is stunning and helps to frame my compositions. It's a beautiful element that makes you create a feel of place in your photographs, which is always something I like to achieve on my street photos. All right, so my favorite photograph is the one of the nuns. I think it's a really interesting picture with strong subjects contrasting with the graffiti background. Also the one with the empty restaurant shot against the light and the photo of the woman with the red dress. These three photos work really well together to show how the place feels like or at least how it felt for me. Finally. 
Then looking at these two photos together, they are both taking the same spot, they are both shooting against the sunlight, but they have a little slightly difference in angle. But the way the camera metered the scene with at least two stops of difference really shows how the auto metering work on this camera. All right, so I loved Seville so much. It was beautiful to take photographs, but to be honest, I was a little bit sad that I wasted those four days in the beginning because there were so many things that I was seeing and said, oh, this is good, this is good, but it's fine. I'm going to come back here later to take photographs. And it's just like, it wasn't there when I actually went. But anyway, I like the pictures. Let me know what you think. And if you want to watch another video, please watch this one here. It's pretty nice. And I see you very soon.